Hey fam, I'm Yovana and today I'm going to talk about my period. If you like this video where I share more about my personal journey, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to my channel because I upload videos every single week. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of all of my new videos. This is girl talk, period talk, so get comfortable because I'm gonna take you through my whole irregular period experience that I've had for the past years. This is a subject that is very personal to me and I finally feel ready to share it with you because for so long I felt a little ashamed, but I feel better about it now, so I'm ready to share it. Throughout my whole life, my period was always a little bit irregular. Like I never got it on the exact date, but I would get it every single month. I was never like a very hard bleeder. Like I don't have a lot of symptoms. I don't really get a lot of cramps, a lot of bloating, a little bit, like some months I'll get some bloatings. One thing that I do get is emotional because I'll randomly just start like crying all of a sudden. And then I'll look at the date and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get my period. <laughs> now, this is where the juicy part begins. When I went vegan, I went raw vegan. I was following a very low fat diet. The first year it was good for some reason. My period was normal, but the second in two years of me following a raw vegan diet, I barely got my period. I would get my period like three times a year, which is nothing. And it wasn't like a real period. I thought that it was normal, that it was okay, that just because I wasn't bleeding didn't mean that I wasn't ovulating. And so if I'm still ovulating, then everything is fine, right? Well, not really. I went to get checked finally after three years of being raw vegan and having like these problems with my period. So I went to these doctors that are specialized in hormones and in fact, my hormones were like all over the place. I was low in some hormones. I was higher in some hormones. I was not ovulating. I honestly got a little scared. I got freaked out. That's one of the reasons why I haven't shared this with you because I felt like ashamed of it because I thought, how am I talking about health and helping people to get healthier if my hormones are like not even healthy? You know, I'm human and it was because I wasn't eating enough fat. Healthy fats are so important for girls. That's the reason why I want to make this video because I experienced it and I don't want this to happen to anybody. Well, I began to incorporate more fats, more avocado. You know, there were days when I didn't have any fat in my diet. And now I include an avocado a day, every single day. I've included seeds, nut butters. So I began to incorporate a bit of this in my diet and what happened? I got my period and I started to get my period regularly. This was in 2016, so the beginning of 2016. So I got my period the whole year regularly. I would get it every single month. Regular period usually lasts from 28 to 35 days. So every 28 or 35 days, you're supposed to get your period, which lasts from three to seven days and you bleed. This means that you have a healthy, regular period. If you're getting it every 28, to 35 days. So then uh, 2017 comes around and the first half of 2017, actually like three fourths of 2017, which was last year, I got my period normally. And then all of a sudden in September of 2017, I stopped getting my period. I missed it a month and I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna let it pass by, see what happens. Then October came by and my period didn't come again. And then November came by and then my period didn't come again. December and January. And then I was like, okay, what is going on? Five months passed by and I wasn't getting my period. And I was like, okay, something is up. I went to my doctors again. We did another blood test through and I began to research more about why your period can go away because I, I didn't understand. I was eating fats every single day. I had gained weight, which is another factor that goes into missing a period. And then I went to research. And so some of the reasons why someone can lose their period is because number one, stress. Stress is huge. And I found that that is big for me. During this time when I was, when I missed my period was when I was doing my recent ebook, the 21 day weight loss and self love challenge. And literally that's all I thought about. I would wake up in the morning and think of that and go to sleep and think of that and my whole energy was going into that we were filming we were taking pictures i was writing i was doing the recipe so i was stressed because i was juggling that along with my everyday content for social media and so i knew that i was stressed 
Once I researched more about stress and not having your period, I was like, okay, this totally makes sense. Another thing is the weight. For anyone who is having an irregular period, definitely check your weight. If your weight is changing a lot, like if you're gaining weight and losing weight, or maybe you have an eating disorder and you're not getting your period, that could be a reason. If you're not eating enough, if you're not getting enough nutrients in your body or enough calories in your body, you're not going to be getting your period because you need, your cycle needs calories, like hormones need calories in order for them to work correctly and not just any type of calories, like healthy, nutrient dense foods. Another is medication. So if maybe you've been taking a lot of medication, a lot of these side effects can cause your period to go away, or you've been using contraceptives, um, birth control. That's another reason why you can have shifts in your period. Maybe you've just stopped using the pill and now you're not getting your period. That could be it. It's a little bit hard to know exactly what it is. What I've learned is that as long as I'm having a very healthy, balanced diet, not over exercising, because if you are over exercising, this can also cause your period to go away. So really doing the exercise that is right for your body because every single body is different. Like some people, they over exercise and nothing happens and they're fine. And other people just have to be a little bit more careful. I honestly really thought that it was stress. Like I, I just felt it because it was not just the ebook. Like I was moving out. I was like living in different Airbnbs for like three months. And it was so funny because as soon as I got to my apartment here in LA and I moved here, like that day I got my period. <laughs> I was in April. So that was a quite a few months. And the amazing thing about this time around that I got my period was that it was like, I felt like it was a period that was more real than the one that I was getting before back in 2016. And now it's been consistent for April, May, June, the past three months. It's been like on the dot that same day. And I went to get my hormones checked again and my hormones are very healthy. And I think everything has just helped. Like me being more conscious about my stress and like meditating and making sure to sleep enough, stay hydrated, to be, to have a balanced diet, have healthy fats and do not be afraid of fats, of nuts and seeds. You know, sometimes I even add a little bit of raw olive oil and it's completely fine. It's using the foods from the earth that the earth has given us. We can literally use these foods for our benefit. That is basically it. I don't think I missed anything else. This is my period journey, my hormone journey. Um, if you're someone that wants to start a healthier vegan lifestyle, then I recommend my four week program, the Ravana Renewal. It's an intensive program where I basically take you from the beginning, everything that you need to know about a vegan diet. I show you, it has shopping lists, meal plans, over 65 recipes, a juice cleanse. It's amazing. And I will leave you guys the link below to where you can download it. That's it. That's, that's all I wanted to share in this video is let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what your experience has been. I'll be happy to answer any comments and help in any way that I can. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.